Wow. Get loaded, get loaded, get loaded. Wham, bam. GWC fam. Folks, it is Thursday night fire that's going to make you perspire out there. You, you, you mind if I have a seat over here? You mind if I have a seat? I'm over here trying to slide through. Hey, we got, hey, here comes the, hey, first of all, rest in peace to the legend out there. I'm giving you the backwards too sweet and send it up to the heavens, baby. Wow. Turned up around here, if you will. Wham, bam, all my GWC fam. Folks, how we feeling out there on this beautiful throwback Thursday? Get loaded. We are here. We are ready to turn up in the Motor City at the GWC Museum. We are in the VIP lounge. If you didn't know, then now you know. We're turned up. It's time to go. Godor Brothers. You might know them as Gator Brothers. You might know them as Godor Brothers. And when I say you can call them anything except late for dinner because they're feeling good, they're feeling great, and they're putting some more on our dinner plates out there, folks. These just dropped. These are just up for order now. Here come the axe. Here come the smasher. The demolition. Woken disaster. Oh, folks, these are fireballs. These are fireballs. I can't make these things up. They drop those heaters on you, and they keep them two sweeters out there. You go to GodorBrothers.com, and you can see that fire out there, folks. I had to set them to the side so I could sit down for a minute, but I just, uh... Wow! Wow! Oh, Deion Sanders he is. I'm getting the, the Zubaz Razor chalk line. Shout out to chalk line. Shout out to the bad guy. You already know how we're feeling about that. Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Hulk Hogan. Hey, the original three. The three Musketeers. Hey, but as Hogan said, you know what? That was a good, uh, that was a good... It was part of that Hogan's farewell or his speech that I dug the other night. You know what, Hogan said something out there, folks, that is, uh, was a beautiful thing out there? He said, when Hulkamania was dead, when Hulk Hogan was on his way out, Scott Hall revived him. And brought him back. It made him relevant again. Hollywood Hogan was born. Sean Waltman, X Pac, he went by six, six ball. And when he broke his neck, and it, Hall wore his shirt every day on Monday nights, row every week while he was out. It had Macho and had everybody Lex. Had Hogan have everybody give him shout outs while he's gone. See, that's official like a referee to whistle. What well, love to you, my brother. Wow. Hey, yo, folks, if you're with me right now, if you're with me right now, then we're six feet above ground. We are six feet in the right direction. Let's change lanes through the nostalgia throwback Thursday intersection. How about that, folks? All my folks from east to west, it's time to wake up and show them why we're the best out there. It's Thursday night. We're going to turn up out of sight. Hey, it's still before midnight, so you know what? I can still... Jake is feeling festive back here. Jake is feeling extra festive back here. And I'm not, you know, Jake, I seen you back here. I know you don't hit the bottle. I know you're, but I seen you had the Irish hat on. And I had the horn swaggle on earlier today. I picked the kids up from school wearing this. What's the guy that used to eat the hamburgers back in the day? What's the guy that used to eat the hamburgers and he wore the really little hat on his head? You know what I'm talking about, folks? It, uh, obviously, it fits me a little small. Now, I must embarrass the hell out of my kids, you know, because I went to school. I went to pick them up from school today, and I was rocking this. I was, I flew a couple planes. I was feeling good. I was feeling cat brought Penny with me. We were doing the stroll. First thing Amelia says, first thing the goose says, Dad, that hat's a little small for you. Wow, get loud. It's going down. Cheers to you. Happy St. Patty's Day. Like I said, drink a green beer, fly a green plane. It's all going down in the fast lane. One love to all of you is out there, though. Happy St. Patty's Day. Jake, you want to keep rocking it? He said, all right. He said, all right. So with that being said, what up, though? Aaron Underwood, rally time. Where are all you Fender rally casters from out there? East to west, where we are the best. Where are we at? Where are we at? Wow. I see the old NWO when I look up and said, that's GWC. And I see, no, no, that's the original. That's the original real deal Holyfield that keeps it. That's the truth in the booth out there, folks. Let's get right off into it. Let's get right off into it. Okay? Let's throw back Thursday. 
So with that being said, we got to bring a couple throwback items on the floor. You know, I got some stuff that came through the GWC and some other things I said, you know what? It's foam time. Get your foamies out out there. These butterball biscuits, you know the one that you don't see. You don't see a lot of these at all, but you know, they're kind of deteriorated. If you're like me, uh, my brother and I, we, we, we rock these butterball biscuits. You know what I'm talking about? They're broken to say the least. The women's title, the Alundra Blaze, I don't... Hey, Medusa. Hey, Alundra. Why'd you throw it in the trash like that? <laughs> well, love, I just busted your chops on the block. We're just getting into it. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. He stays with me over here. Don't drop the intercontinental. You know what? He's all good in the hood. But he's hanging with me tonight. He's hanging with me every day. He's posted up over here. We got hacksaws, American flags on. We got foams in the building. Look at it. You guys remember, you were the man back in the day, 1989, 1988. 1988? You were the man in 88 when you were feeling straight if you pulled up to the party with this bad boy on your shoulder. This ain't a 24-hour title, but it's going down, baby. Wow. I'm going to set this right to the side over here. Let me, you know what? I don't want to block you, Scotty. I don't want to block you, Scotty. I'm just going to, uh, we're all right. We're going to leave it right there. Slightly, politely, and quite possibly all nightly. Folks, who's number one out there? Who's number one out there? Who's number one? Are y'all number one? Hey, Bear's number one. Shango, we know you're number one. Me and Gene, definitely number one. Jake, Bulldog, L-O-D, Hogan, uh, Shiki. Folks, I'm just, I don't. We're feeling pretty good. We're feeling pretty great. If you put a couple things on our dinner plates, I might tell you exactly how I'm feeling out there. I feel like it's a throwback Thursday, and this is how we're feeling, okay? Wow, you know, you can get your, you can get it from across the room. Don't you worry about it, folks. Wow. I need to take flight. I need to get into a plane over here. One love to all of you, Mark Tor. One love to Andrew Millett. One all love to all of you is out there, okay? Andre is in the building, okay? Let's get this bad boy right here. You can show, you show the world that you're number one right now, Taker. We know you're number one always. Oh, Duggan's USA music underneath the table is so casual. I got it slightly propped up out there. One love to all of you folks, huh? How we feel it out there? It's Throwback Thursday. The eighth wonder of the world is coming through. Matt Quinn, what up, no? Josh Wolf, what up, no? Let's do something. Let's do something. The eighth wonder of the world came through. A hey, big Aaron Underwood came through. And he said, you know what? You need this over there. It's bronzed out. It's feeling semi-heavy. It's got some weight to it. Scott Fires, what up, no? Matt Quinn, he came, he brought. He came prepared out there, folks. He came prepared out there. Well, this, well, this wouldn't hang on there. This will knock it right on over. But what if we did it like this? What if we did it like that? That'd be kind of casual, wouldn't it? If we're going throwback Thursday, is that too casual right there? Is that too casual? I think that might be a little too, too, too cash. A little too, too, too cash, if you will. All right, that's all right. We're taking this down. Folks, let's get into it. Let's get right off into it. The eighth wonder of the world's here. Oh, this thing is super tight. It is tight out there. Wow, he came bearing gifts. Hey, last night, so here's the deal, folks. Last night, did a 316 for 316 day. It was Austin day. God bless him. We rock and roll. We, I brought some Austin items out, and we kind of got a little wild child over here. Well, in the midst of, you guys know, at, you know, after the lives usually, if I keep with you, you know, we might take a walk through some of the GWC Museum. We might just stroll around a little bit. We ended up in the Legends Wing last night. I was half to the wind. I was feeling good, feeling great. I lost the plane. I lost the plane. It was in the ring-worn Mick Foley, the, the Cactus Jack, the Mick Foley, the Mankind mannequin. It was hanging out of Mick's mouth to half a plane in the fast lane. I said, get it out of it. I think actually my brother Michael Mahutsky from Puerto Rico commented, Foley's got your plane. Get it out. It's going down. That's let you know what time of day it is at the GWC. With that being said. You want to talk about the program of the day? 
Are we going to talk about the program? You guys want to talk about the program of the day? I, I think we need to talk. It's Throwback Thursday, folks. It's Throwback Thursday. So we know that it would have to be a throwback. A throwback program, right? These are the type of items out there, folks. These are the type of items that I love. Yeah, I love WWF. Let's rewind a little bit. Throw that VCR, throw that tape in the VCR. Let's rewind a little bit out there, folks. Let's go to W, 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 F. Oh, 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 oh. Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Worldwide Wrestling Federation, folks. I'm going to back this up because I'm feeling a little congested over here, okay? Some say this guy, some say this legend used to wrestle bears. They say he used to wrestle bears out there now. I can't do this without giving a shout out. First, a rest in peace shout out. To the one and only Gorilla Monsoon out there. What love to Gotta give love to Gorilla Monsoon out there. And give love to my brother Big Wood, Big Aaron Underwood. This came out of his personal collection. Wow, look at this. These are the these are the pieces, folks. W W W F. Let's go. We got a Gorilla Monsoon stitch. Look at the I need that green. I need the green sequence jacket that he's rocking right here. You know what? Let's take it out this frame. We gotta take it out the frame. Oh, 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 look who's right on the back. Hey, it wouldn't be a throwback Thursday if we weren't uh, getting a little throwbackage over here. Throwbackage, if you will. Look who is on the back of this Butterball Biscuit. All Barry Sanders he is. The Vashans are here. The Vashans are here and they're ready to, they're ready for business. I'm not even going to say they're not. Happy St. Patty's Day to all of you Butterball Biscuits out there. Look at, look at the sequence on there. Look at the sequence. Wow, it's a beautiful thing going down. Let's slide over here because you know what I just noticed. Bam, we got another light going all of a sudden. We got another light going all of a sudden, folks. Here come the axe. Here come the smash. Uh. Hey, when I looked down, I see these Butterball Biscuits down. I ought to bring them up. They came back again. You started the show with me. Bill, you had to go, but you can't have Bill and Barry. It's Bill and Barry, and they're feeling quite contrary. I don't know if it's contrary. I threw a QU in there, and it's contrary, but that's how we do it out there. We're feeling good, all right? What love do you? Get over there. Get out of here, okay? Now, we're back in sequence. We're back talking about the sequence. Now, we're a little brighter. Now, I can see is out there in wrestling world. Who we got in here? Who we got in here? Bruiser Brody's biting someone's face off. Waldo Von Erich is in action. Look at young Albino with Johnny Valiant and Jimmy Valiant. Look at how young the Valiants are. Good Lord, this is beautiful. This is the history that I love out there. This is the type of stuff I, you know what? If you got to polish up on the old, uh, you got to put some stuff in the old noggin to go riding on that wrestling nostalgia toboggan. These are the type of things you do. You go grab you some programs. From Monday, May 5th, 1975, the Utica Memorial Auditorium, folks. No reservations. The special main event is Gorilla Monsoon versus Paul the Butcher Vashon. Gorilla Monsoon, Williamsboro, New Jersey, weighing in at 401. 401, he's ready to have some fun. Look at this. Look at the hated rivals. Gorilla Monsoon and Bruno San Martino. Killer Qualsey and Bobby Duncan. Look at these. Folks, wow, I just, I can't tell you what the, I, it gives me chills just going through it. It really does. It really does out there. I love the nostalgia of it. I love the nostalgia of it. Wow. Yes, I got his boots in the, I got his boots, his ring-worn boots in the other room. I got his ring-worn boots in the other room.
This is when he was a little more swagged out. I have a Bootskis here, folks. Wow. He's got, a, look, he's got a little Jim the Anvil in him mixed with... You know what I'm going to call this? You guys, you, you don't, 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 don't hold me to this. He's got a little Jim the Anvil mixed with old school Memphis Jerry the King Lawler days. Do you guys know what I mean by that? You guys know what I mean by that? Yes, the, the, this song comes on, The Undertaker. Wow! We gotta roll. I gotta keep going. I got I got a lot to get into. And uh, I'll join the Giants in the building. That's all I gotta say about it, though. We are just we're feeling good going through nostalgia over here. You take a trip down Nostalgia Boulevard. You know who you might see out there? You might see Bruno. Wow, you know my brother. Look at him, Dominic. Dominic Danucci, rest in peace. I did a show with him right before he went up to the Pearlies. God bless him. Legends of Hamburg. Johnny Rods, he was there too. Isn't that wild? Both of them were there. Folks, it's a beautiful thing. It's Throwback Thursday here. It's Happy St. Patty's Day. It's what up, no. It's rest in peace to Scott Hall. For life. That's for life. And uh, we're feeling all right. Trying to fly planes. I was thinking the same thing. Spot on, man. It's going down. All you's double D. What's up with all you's out there, huh? All right. I'm sweating a little bit. You guys want it? You guys like playing games? I got another one that's a little bit. I got another one that's a little bit better. I got one loose, obviously, in the game room. But I got one that's a little bit better shape. A little bit better shape in the box, but I couldn't bring myself to, to take this out the box, even though it's shows a little bit of shows a little bit of, of love out there. But the colors are popping still. Yeah, we're still intact. Feeling pretty damn good about it, folks. We got a power pinball situation station going on. We're still sealed on card, folks. So the box has seen a little bit of love from the Toys R Us days from being on the shelf. But the uh, seals haven't been broken. The seal is still there. Kiss from a rose on a grave. Steel, the seal is still in the building. I feel, hey, all 21 is, all Deion Sanders is, I feel kind of... I'm not happy about this. Can I say that, to say the least? My brother Big Bear, my brother Godfather, I, I feel like I neglected you, brother. Because when I fly planes, we fly planes together. Even though we might talk every day out there because it's a one love situation station and we're bu we're brothers from another mother. But I can't believe I didn't bring you through yet. All Tayshawn Prince, all Emmett Smith is. He's here. He's here. Don't worry. We're all right. Ray's was, he, we're okay out there. Don't worry. Don't worry. He came, he came through. He came through and he's feeling all right about it. You got to get this. You got to get the ceremonial. Ceremonial plane in the fast lane going, okay? There we go. He's, he's flying him with Scotty. He's flying him with Scotty over there. Hey, I got a story for you guys. I got a story for you guys out there. I think you're going to dig it. I got a story for you guys. I think you're going to dig it. I've heard stories similar to this. I've heard stories similar to this that were you know, different people. And so it's something obviously he would do or he would change up and do something kind of like that. I've heard it changed up a little bit from different people. But it's nonetheless, it's a beautiful thing and it gets you cracking up out there. We did a shout out. We did a shout out for our brother, obviously, our fallen brother. Our fallen brother, Scott. One thing about Big Scott Hall out there, one thing about Scott that was well-known, even though he's known as the bad guy, one thing that was well-known, he's a great guy behind the scenes, but he's a river, and he loved ribbon. If you don't know what a rib is, it's, <coughs> it's pranking, it's joking, it's turning up, it's getting wild, it's all of the above. Silly stuff. You're on the road with the boys. What, you know, some stuff could be a little... Some ribs you've heard out there, 
some ribs throughout history that you've heard, some have been a little extreme. Let's, I mean, let's just not beat around the bush. Some have been a little wild child west of Seven Mile. Now this one, per se, is PG. It's G, it's PG. But it's just great. Give a shout out to my brother, Dominic. Mess Bucket Comics, okay? So Dominic's doing a show. He owns Mess Bucket Comics. He does all the conventions all over. We got a, he's got the British Bulldog comic coming out. Starring yours truly, the GWC bar. We're going to be, it's in the comic. You just did, the Roddy Piper's already out. I, I, I can't tell you what I don't know, but it's a, hear me out on this one. Dominic's doing a convention. Him and his buddy are in the bathroom. He's in the restroom. Hall comes in. Hall's doing a signing there, okay? I should give us. Should see if I can get Dominic in here. I don't know what he's got going on. They're using the bathroom. They're taking a leak, you know? Or this whole boy in there. Scott Hall comes in there. Hall's in there. Hall's pissing. I don't need to break all down into detail. They're using the bathroom. Hall finishes first. They clean, they're cleaning their hands still. Hall's walking out the bathroom. This is where it gets, there's where it turns up, folks. Boom, lights are off. He shuts the lights off. Dom and his buddy are still in there. They're pissing, finishing. They don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, it's dark in there. And they say they hear from the door. They go, hey. This is going to be a dark match. Hall killed the lights, told him this is going to be a dark match, and shuts the door. Now, hear me out. Now, this is when, it's already the funny, you, you already, I was already dying loving the story, okay? All tw all, I was already loving that story. It gets even better. It gets, so Big Dom and his boy are in the bathroom. They're marking out. They're laughing. They're laughing, okay? They're cracking up, actually. Why wouldn't she be? The big legendary Scott all just turned the lights off while you're taking a piss and says, Hey, this is going to be a dark match. Why wouldn't you be laughing? They go out, handle their business. It's later in the day, they're at a table. Dom's got people, he's doing his comic, selling his comic books, and Hall's at the table next to him with Nash. So Dom says to, to Scott, Yeah, man, that was wild how you shut the lights off on us for the dark match. So Dom did, he didn't, Scott Hall didn't know that was Dom that he shut the lights off on, and he goes, and Dom goes, we were dying. Me and my boy were dying. This is the this is the ice that got the cake for me. I love this part. I love this part. He says, we are dying, he tells Hall. Hall goes, oh yeah, I know. I know. I waited at the door. I listened at the door to see if it got over. Oh my God! <laughs> yes! Up to the heavens, my baby. Hey, yo. Up to the heavens, my baby. He listened at the door to see if it got over. I love that. Something about that just, it was so genuine. It was so, it was funny. It was genuine. All the above. Check, check, check. I love it out there. Shuts the lights off for him. You're, you're going into a dark match. Then he tells him, hey, he listens at the door and wants to see if it went over. That's just, that's just classic. Well, love, my brother. I had, to, I, had to cut the, I had to cut the Undertaker music for that. But folks, we're still turning up a little bit, are we not? I think we're still feeling kind of casual. I had a really nice piece I was going to get into. I might not get into this yet tonight. I don't, Folks, this is an exotic, rare, this is a wild piece that's in here. I can go ahead and say this. and I, I'm not saying it like that. We're not having, you know we're all fam out there, folks. We are all fam. It don't matter. We, we ain't got to toot the horns out there. We're all hey, we all keep it official like a referee or a whistle. But that was just the pre the pre talk to this. This is a one of one item. No, it will not be seen nowhere else. That's one thing that's a, a thousand percent on all on all 120, 140,000 items in the museum. I can guarantee you that. This right here is the one of one. So I think I want to get into it, but I think we might just hold off a second out there. It's Throwback Thursday. Do I got to cool you off? Wham, bam, GWC fam. Do I got to cool you off? Unk is in the building. It's 
1991 merch. He signed it. And we're turned up around here, if you will. We're, these are the, hey, these are the wild items, though. They got heavy color, heavy graphics. Takes you to a place in time. The golden era, just the wildness out there. This is the big dog out there. Hey, the story, hey, would you, hey is this story time? All my GWC fam, one love to all of is out there. That's how we roll out there. We kick it back. We might turn up a little bit. We might tell some stories. We don't know what we're going to get into. Jake's sitting in this room right here. Look at this. I'm pulling it out from underneath the glass table. This is how improvised. That's how I roll. You guys know this. I'm, I'm talking. I pull things from off the walls. Hold up. I got to go get this ring worn robe. I got to get Grab this from right out from underneath the glass table because it's one of them's right under where I sit. So when I'm sitting here with you guys, I'm sitting here, I'm reminiscing. I might be with 20 years. I might be with 200 years on live. It doesn't matter who because I enjoy it all. Sometimes I look down and I say, hey, this is how we, this is how we do it out here. We've, we've, we've already rock and rolled. Do we got... We got big things going down for the GWC movement. And I know you guys know, but maybe you don't know there's things going down. But I look down at this. I see the table. This is me sitting right in this chair. And A.J. Francis sitting next to me. And Uncle Jake. Jake's, Jake the Snake sitting right across from me. And I, I look at this picture. I look at this Butterball Biscuit right there. And it keeps me, uh, keeps me in my zone out there, if you know what I'm talking about. But also, it gets me into memory thinking about some wild stories that Jake told me now. A lot of these stories couldn't be put on Most Wanted Treasures. These stories weren't for A&E Channel, and WWE was definitely not putting these stories out there. Wow. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, you guys already know. You know what I'm talking about.